is foolish to tear one's hair in grief, as though sorrow would be made less by baldness. Boastful speeches are the first sign of weakness, and those who are capable of great things keep their mouths shut. The life of the dead is set in the memory of the living. If you have no confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you have won even before you have started. Your enemies can kill you, but only your friends can hurt you. If we are not ashamed to think about it, we should not be ashamed to say it. Any man can make mistakes, but only an idiot persists in his error. The shifts of fortune test the reliability of friends. I prefer the most unfair peace to the most righteous war. In times of war, the law falls silent. Kindness is stronger than fear. The authority of those who teach is often an obstacle to those who want to learn. While there's life, there's hope. Endless money forms the sinews of war. The greatest victory is victory over yourself. A friend is a second self. I am never as busy as during my leisure hours. Silence is one of the great arts of conversation. The causes of events are ever more interesting than the events themselves. We must not say every mistake is a foolish one. Law applied to its extreme is the greatest injustice. Books, our unfailing companions. Spice up your speech with humor. A man of faith is also full of courage. The life given us by nature is short, but the memory of a well-spent life is eternal. Freedom is participation in power. The reward of friendship is friendship itself. You can't love either the one you're afraid of or the one who's afraid of you. Diseases of the soul are more dangerous and more numerous than those of the body. Impunity is the greatest encouragement of crime. In the world, there is nothing better and more pleasant than friendship. To exclude friendship from life is the same as to deprive the world of sunlight. Though silence is not necessarily an admission, it is not a denial either. The function of wisdom is to discriminate between good and evil. Nothing stands out so conspicuously or remains so firmly fixed in the memory as something which you have blundered. We are bound by the law so that we may be free. He who has money cannot be punished. Order is most helpful for clear assimilation. In all matters, before beginning, diligent preparation should be made. Every man can tell how many goats or sheep he possesses, but not how many friends. It is our own evil thoughts which make us. Freedom will bite back more fiercely when suspended than when she remains undisturbed. To study philosophy is nothing but to prepare oneself to die. A happy life consists in tranquility of mind. Old age, the crown of life, our play's last act. No one can give you better advice than yourself. Good and evil cannot be treated the same way. Love is the attempt to form a friendship inspired by beauty. Ability without honor is useless. To teach is a necessity. To please is sweetness. To persuade is a victory. Even those philosophers who wrote treaties against fame did not forget to put their name in the title of their book. Wisdom is the only thing which can banish sorrow from the breast. It is a great thing to know your vices. Thrift is an important source of wealth. Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all the ideas of God. It is the peculiar quality of a fool 
to perceive the faults of others and to forget his own. He only employs his passion who can make no use of his reason. Happiness should be asked from God. Wisdom should be acquired by yourself. What then is freedom? The power to live as one wishes. Stupidity tends to see other people's vices and forget about their own. We need to eat and drink enough so that our strength is restored and not suppressed. A mental stain can neither be blotted out by the passage of time nor washed away by any waters. To be content with what we possess is the greatest and most secure of riches. If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. True law is right reason in agreement with nature. It is of universal application, unchanging and everlasting. It summons to duty by its commands and averts from wrongdoing by its prohibitions. Be rather than seem. Friendship improves happiness and debates misery. By doubling our joys and dividing our grief, the one to whom the service is rendered should remember about it, and the one who rendered it should not remember about it. In fears and danger, we are more inclined to believe in miracles. The wise are instructed by reason, average minds by experience, the stupid by necessity, and the brute by instinct. The face is a picture of the mind, with the eyes as its interpreter. A mind without instruction can no more bear fruit than can a field, however fertile, without cultivation. A room without books is like a body without a soul. Knowledge, which is divorced from justice, may be called cunning rather than wisdom. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. The love you give in life keeps people alive beyond their time. Anyone who was given love will always live on in another's heart. Not being greedy is already wealth. Not being wasteful is income. History is the witness that testifies to the passing of time. It illumines reality, vitalizes memory, provides guidance in daily life, and brings us tidings of antiquities. For books are more than books. They are the life, the very heart and core of ages past. The reason why men worked and died, the essence and quintessence of their lives. The greatest virtue of a speaker is not only to say what is necessary, but also not to say what is not necessary. Read at every weight. Read at all hours. Read within leisure. Read in times of labor. Read as one goes in. Read as one goes out. The task of the educated mind is simply put. Read to lead. If fate does not give you something, it means that it protects you from something. There are no snares more dangerous than those which lurk under the guise of duty or the name of a relationship. Natural ability without education has more often raised a man to glory and virtue than education without natural ability. The more honest men are, the less he suspects others of dishonesty. A low soul always presupposes the lowest motives for noble deeds. To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to always remain a child. For what is the worth of human life unless it is woven into the life of our ancestors by the records of history?